Hey guys, for this month's Meatless Monday, I wanted to give you an idea for Thanksgiving. So if you're looking for a meatless entree to serve at this annual feast, I've got just the thing for you. So we're probably all familiar with cottage pie that has beef in it, or shepherd's pie, which is traditionally made with lamb, named after the shepherds who looked after the flock. So I wanted to make a vegetarian version of this classic dish and name it gardener's pie, after all the gardeners who look after the vegetables. Let me show you how quick and easy it comes together. So our first step is to create our vegetable base. Now I will say this, if you are planning a Friendsgiving or you have lots of relatives in town, this is a great recipe to rope in a few helpers because this step is not the hardest part, but it's the most time consuming because we have to cut and dice a lot of vegetables. We're first going to begin by laying down two sliced onions. So you wanna do one on one tray and one on the other. We're gonna do the same thing with two eggplants. We're gonna slice those and put those on top of the onions. Then we're gonna take four red bell peppers and we're gonna quarter them and put two on one tray and two on the other. And then we also wanna quarter 10 Roma tomatoes. You're going to put five on one tray and five on the other. This may seem like a ton of vegetables, but actually they are all going to cook down into the most delicious, almost like ratatouille consistency. So it does take a lot of vegetables in order to fill our casserole so that we can serve anywhere from six to eight people. Then you're also going to add one zucchini that you're going to cut in half and then dice into little half moons. You're gonna put one half on one tray and the other half on the other. Eight cremini mushrooms that you're going to quarter. And again, put four on one side and four on the other. Four garlic cloves that you can slice very thin and sprinkle all over the trays. And then each tray is also going to get two tablespoons of olive oil. You just wanna have it drizzled all over those vegetables. And then each tray is also going to get half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of herbs de Provence. If you can't find herbs de Provence, you could also use a combination of dried basil, dried oregano, and a little dry parsley. So now we are going to take our trays and pop them in the oven at 450 degrees. And they're gonna roast in there for quite a while. It's gonna take about 40 minutes to an hour. And what you wanna do is just take those trays and swap them out every 10 to 15 minutes, just so that each tray is getting equally roasted. And once they've been in there for about a half hour, you can go in and start to kind of mix them around a little bit, making sure all of those vegetables are breaking up. And then after the hour mark, you can remove your trays and you'll see how much those vegetables cook down. And then you wanna combine trays because you'll have a lot more room now. So you can take one tray and just combine it with the other. And then you just wanna kind of lay them all out so they're on a single layer. And then you're gonna add one can of tomato puree, just plain tomato sauce. And then you wanna stir that up, making sure that all the sauce is getting incorporated with the vegetables. And then you also wanna add one teaspoon of finely minced rosemary. And then you can mix that up. So now your vegetable base is ready to go. So you can transfer this into the casserole that you plan to serve this in. And the great thing about this recipe, this can all be made the day before and you're just going to heat it up when it comes time to serve. So do make sure you put it in something that's heat safe. So next we can make the mashed potato topping that is going to cover these delicious vegetables. So the first thing we wanna do is take six russet potatoes, cut them in half, and then cut them in quarters. I think this is the best cut for a potato when you want them to all cook at the same time. And then we're gonna place them in cold water and we're gonna set it to boil. And that's really the best way to cook a potato if you want a nice and fluffy mashed potato is to start with cold water and let the whole thing come up to a boil together. Now, to get a really fluffy and delicious mashed potato, I think it really helps to take your potatoes and put them through a ricer. A ricer is this little contraption that will give you the smoothest, most delicious mashed potatoes. So if you wanna do something extra special for Thanksgiving, I do think they are worth the investment. So you're just going to go through all your potatoes, putting them through the ricer, and you'll see you'll end up with a really nice fluffy looking mash. They look like little grains of rice almost. I think that's probably why it got its name. And then because we're not gonna use butter for our mashed potatoes, instead, we're gonna use some olive oil. So I do like to add three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which will not only flavor the potatoes, but it'll also give them a really nice silky smooth texture. And then I also like to add some fresh herbs to the potatoes. So we're going to use two tablespoons of fresh dill and one tablespoon of fresh chives. 
And then lastly, we're gonna season with one and a half teaspoons of salt and a little freshly cracked pepper. So you can stir that all up until everything is nice and combined. Now at this stage, you could take these lovely mashed potatoes and just pop them on top of the vegetable base. That would definitely be great for a Sunday night dinner or a weeknight meal. But because it is Thanksgiving, I do like to take the extra step to transfer these potatoes into a pastry bag fitted with a star tip. And then we're just gonna create little mounds of mashed potatoes all around our casserole. And that will just look so pretty and so elegant when it's really a simple thing to do. So then at this stage, I just put the lid on my casserole and pop it in my fridge. And then when it comes time to serve, you're gonna take your casserole, keep the lid on, and place it in a 400 degree Fahrenheit oven for 30 minutes. And that will help that base really warm up and get really delicious and bubbly. And after it's been in there for 30 minutes, then you're going to remove the lid, increase the heat to 450 degrees, and bake it for another 10 to 15 minutes. And that will just help those mashed potatoes get a little brown and crispy on top. And once it's done, you can bring it to the table and let everybody dig in. This is another fun part about this dish. It's definitely oven to table. Your guests can serve themselves. It's a beautiful dish, not only just to look at, but to have on a buffet. It also makes a great potluck because it's very portable if you have to bring something to somebody's house for Thanksgiving. And when you dig into it, you will see you will have that beautiful kind of ratatouille base at the bottom mixed with those delicious fluffy mashed potatoes speckled with those fresh herbs. You will definitely know why I call this gardener's pie. It has just about every vegetable that I grow in my garden represented and makes a fantastic main entree for vegetarian Thanksgiving. I hope you guys give this one a try and let me know what you think. And I will see you guys back here actually tomorrow when I'm going to be bringing back my Holiday Helper series. If you missed it last year, this is a special series I like to do between Thanksgiving and Christmas that includes some wonderful holiday tips to keep you all sane during the most hectic time of the year. I'm gonna show you how to get your house ready for guests, how to make some delicious food gifts, table setting ideas, as well as easy and elegant appetizers. So be sure to come back tomorrow and you can check out episode one. Until then, bye.